and of the the argumentation between the Jews, the the the, the leaders of the Jew of the Jews, I mean, and Jesus. This confrontation started when Jesus healed the impotent man and, and he asked that impotent man to rise up and pick up his bed. That is where the, 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 the argument started. When the Pharisees saw, I mean, when the, the Jewish leaders saw this man by the temple, uh, by the temple ground, walking and, 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 and carrying in his back his bendings and it's a Sabbath day. So they 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 asked the man who asked him to do that and and the man later identified it was Jesus and, and, and they started to to accuse Jesus of breaking the law, breaking the Sabbath, and they accuse him of uh, along the way, along their uh, their, their uh, argument, they they ask uh, they, they accuse Jesus of blasphemy, and Jesus answered them very very firmly and very strong. The words that the Lord gave them was strong ones. Very powerful words. He, he he gave them the witness of his authority. Why he commanded this man to why he why this man did I mean why why what why Jesus asked this man to do those things on the Sabbath. He is saying I have the authority, and he is declaring that he is God. He, 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 he told them this. Jesus himself said this to them, to, the, to his accusers. That yes, I am God. I am equal with the Father. I work with the Father. And so, as a, as a coup de grace, finishing punches or, or, or not all punches for, for the Jews, uh, Jewish leaders, at the time, Jesus gave them this, this words. This, this is his final blow. Kumbaga sa ano, ito yung kanyang, ito yung Pacman punch ni Jesus sa kanila. Left, right, left. The, 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 the Jews did not stand a ground. Uh, hindi sila makatindig hindi sila maka, maka salag sa binigay ni Jesus ng mga patotoo sa kanyang authority. Jesus presented the Father. Remember? He presented the Father himself as his testimony. And the Father is working through him. That's why he, he presented the work, the, the healing that he did. Paano nila mapapawalang uh, sa isayin. How can they oppose the work, the healing that Jesus did? They cannot argue with it. They cannot argue. They cannot say na, ah, that healing is not true. That is just made up. Hindi nila pwedeng sabihin ka na. Why? Because they knew this man for 38 years. He, for 38 years, he, he was a fixture by the pool. Kung, kung, kung mag-snapchat ka doon, lagi mong makikita yung, yung lalangan nito doon sa tabi ng pool. For 38 years, for 38 years, he suffered. Hindi natin alam kung gano'n siya katagal doon sa tabi ng Batsaida. But he was there and there was no one to take care of him. I, I, I can even say, walang nagmamahal sa kanya. Diba? When Jesus says, you want to be healed? Eh, sabi niya, kasi walang, walang, walang tutulog sa akin pagpunta doon sa pool eh. 
Kaya pag may dumododo na ang hill, gumalaw yung pool. Dagapang ako, eh, hulim na. May naunan na sa akin. That means this man has no one to take care. Uh, no, no one, I mean, there is no one that taking care of him. Walang nag-aalaga sa kanya. Walang nagbabantay. Parang, uh, ang tawag dyan, yung, ang tawag nyo sa ano yung solo, ulila. Gagat dyan sa term. Parang siya ulila. Wala siyang magulang, wala siyang kapatid, walang, walang nagmamahal sa kanya. But the Lord <coughs> touched his heart, he healed him, and he was alive. And, 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 and the, the, the Pharisees and the, the, the leaders of the Jews can argue with it. Wala silang, wala silang pambara. Wala silang sabihin na, uh, uh, hindi totoo yan. Hindi nila masabing ganun. Kasi nga, this man is a well-known man for them. He's a picture there. And this man, this man is cool now. Hindi nila alam ba pa, paano nangyari yan. And so, this witness of Jesus is uh, unbreakable. Kumbaga, they cannot demolish it. And they cannot demolish the, 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 the witness that Jesus said. Testifies of Him, which is the Scripture. They cannot question it. Because if they question the scripture, they are questioning their own faith. Dahil they, as, as we have read here, you trust Moses. Diba? You submit this verse 45? Do not think that I will accuse you of, of uh, I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom he trusts. In whom you trust, you you trust Moses, meaning the the, the words that Moses wrote, the, the the law, and that law, Jesus said, points to Him, and they cannot argue against the Scripture. They will argue, ah, you are claiming that, you are just claiming that, but the Scripture, they he cannot, they cannot. They argue against Jesus, but they cannot argue against the scripture. Jesus is saying, the scripture is talking about me. Hindi nila mabara na, ah, hindi ikaw ang sinasabi ng scripture na yan. Dahil, why? They don't have anything to answer against it. Ang masasabi lang, ah, ang masasabi lang nila, at, the pinakamalapit nila pwede sabihin you can claim that pero pwede hindi ikaw yan pero uh, kung hindi ako yan sasabihin niya so sa babalik sa sino yan hindi namin masabi so wala silang wala silang wala silang pang kumbaga sa pakikipagtalo wala silang panapak so this is the claim that Jesus gave them and they cannot argue against it so tulog na sila yung 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 kanilang uh, gustong sabihin Jesus you are a blasphemer Jesus you are a law breaker you are a sabbath breaker it did not stand in their argument against Jesus it, it failed to stand they they have they don't have anything against Jesus and now Jesus is seen in his offensive trust. He gave them these three knockout punches. The first one, Jesus told them, 
the futility of their testimony. Jesus said in verse 43, I am come in my Father's name and you receive me not. You don't want to believe me. I am here not because I want to declare my glory. No, I'm pointing you to the Father. I came here in my Father's name. It is my Father's glory that I'm presenting to you. But you do not want to accept me. Now this is the futility of your testimony. It says, if another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. If someone comes in his own name, him will you receive. Why is that? Why is that? Jesus said, how can you believe which receive honor one of another? You believe someone who honored himself? And you ignore me who comes to you and honors the Father? Do you see the futility of the testimony that you are standing on? Jesus is now accusing the, the Jews of the futility of their work. The futility of their work. They, they say they are Jewish leaders. They say they are the ones that that uh, that sits in the, uh, the position of Moses. They are the ones that teaches the law. But they give honor among themselves. They are not giving honor to God. They are just giving honor of, of, towards each other. Kumbaga, nagpupurihan lang sila sa isa't isa. Pero ang ginagawa nila, hindi ka puri-puri sa, hindi ka puri-puri sa Panginoon. Ang ginagawa nila in opposition against Jesus, let's say, they, they come, oh, this is, there is this one who, who, who makes an argument. Asalanan ka, you, you break the law. Ikaw ba ang propeta? Ikaw ba ang Kristo? Pero bakit ka nag, 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 art, nag, nag, nag utos na, na buhatin niya ang kanyang wedding? At isa doon sa ako sa oh, tama ko, magandang argumento yan. Tama, totoo nga. Alam mo yun? And then, another one says, Oh, anak ka? Tatay ko si ang 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 ama? Oh, pinapatay mo ang sarili mo bilang Diyos. Sabi nyo isa, Oh, yun nga, tama nga yun, tama nga. Oh, oh hindi nga, tignan mo nga, oh. Ang galing mo. Tamang argumento. See, they are praising each other. But are they giving glory to the Lord in, 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 in the arguments that they are giving, in the works, in the value works that they are doing? Are they giving glory to the Lord? No. They are giving honor to themselves. They are showing. Parang pinapakita na nila na, oh, galiko, di ba? Oh, oh, galiko nga. But galiko na nila. Oh, tama ko. Samayin ako sa sinabi. And Jesus said to him, nagbubulahan kayo sa inyong mga sarili. At ako ito, I came here, hindi ko kayo binubola, wala akong tao binubola. Pinapakita ko lang, ang gawa ko ay gawa ng Ama. It is the Father working in me, through me. And this is the product of an impotent man was able to walk. God did that through me. The Father and I did that. We worked together. And in, in the utility of your work, 
you're embracing each other. So Jesus is saying, wala kwenta ang gawa nyo. Hindi mo na kayong napatunayan. Wala. Second, second, kudigra that Jesus gave them is in verse 45. He says, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. Now, we all know that in the presence of the Lord there is but one accuser. One accuser. And that accuser is the devil. He is accusing us. Ah, hindi ka naman sinasamba nito. Tao ko eh. Diba? O yung when, 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 when uh, uh, Joe was, was presented, said, the word to, to Satan, have you seen my servant Joe? And, and what did Satan say? Pino protection and we say, you binabakuran mo siya. At sino yung bakang punetika mo? He will curse you. Hindi ka naman talaga ang sinasamba niya. Kaya kaya ka lang sinasamba niya dahil binibless mo eh. Take out your protection and he will, and he will not worship you anymore. That kind of abusing. That's, that's the devil work. But Jesus here is not talking that way. Hindi gano'n ang sinasabi ni Jesus when he said, you have one accuser. The accuser here, yung, yung, there is one that accuses you. Yung, yung, yung idea nito is more on a prosecutor. Yung someone that will prosecute you. Ano yan? Panong, ano? Di ba tayo? Halimbawa, meron tayong kaalim. Eh, takipag, ano tayo, takipag, uh, away tayo si, sa, sabihin natin sa ating kapitbahay. At dahil hindi tayo magkakitindihan, pumunta tayo sa barangay. At dahil hindi pa rin nasood ng barangay, ng, ng barangay, ang ayun, no, sabihin, punta kayo sa, ano, sa korte. Before you go actually to the court, you go to what is called the prosecutor's office. Yun ang mag-ano, makausapin doon. At uh, sasabihin ng prosecutor, anong problema nyo? Eh, kasi ito, ganyan, gano, gano. At uh, sasabihin ng prosecutor, eh, walang kaso dito. Magsibuhin na kayo, magtulog nyo lang yan. Or, sasabihin ng prosecutor, ah, Pastor Joy, may punto ka. Sige, dalhin natin to sa sa korte. Kasi sa batas, ito ang sabi. So, ganun yung, ganun yung ginawa mo. So, sige. Dadalhin natin ito sa korte. At yung prosecutor na yun, ang nausap nyo, siya na yun ang pupunta sa harap ng judge ng korte at sasabihin si, si Pastor Joy may problema sa kanyang kapitbahay at ang kapitbahay niya na to gumawa ng kasalanan kay, kay Pastor Joy kasi ganito ang nasusulat sa batas and yun that is the accusing na sinasabi dito hindi yung magayang magpuntay kay Satanas this here Moses as it is written in, 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 in John chapter 1 says for the law cometh by Moses but grace and truth cometh by the Lord Jesus Christ the accusing here the, the, uh, uh, is more on a prosecution meaning Moses the work of Moses, the law will work against them against the 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 the, the, the Jews and, and, and in general 
harm to the whole world, to the people. We will be accused, or we will be prosecuted. Para mas mahiwalay natin sa accuser na the devil. We will be prosecuted by the law. We cannot say in the presence of the Lord, Lord, I am clean, I do not have sin. I don't need a Savior, I don't need Jesus Christ. I cannot say that. Why? Because Moses, the law of Moses, will just stand in the presence of God and say, He's lying. That's his first sin. <laughs> Second sin, he failed to honor his father and mother. That is, I believe, is the first sin of all of us. Uh, I, there is a video that I posted a year ago and, and, and FB reminded me. There was this farmer who has dogs on the back of a pickup. And, and he, he called them one, one by one. First one. I forgot the name. So he liked to Spot. Spot runs down towards the farmer and says, go. And he went straight to the to the, the, to the house, the third day. He, the, the farmer commanded, stay, sit down, and then go forward. He, he, he stood up and then went forward towards the house and then stay. He, 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 he sits down again and then, and then he says, leave. He leads the, all the cows. On, on the way that the, the, the master, the, the farmer, was saying. And then he calls back the dog, the dog, the dog went back to him and says, okay, go back to the pickup. He went and he did the same, he did the, the same uh, routine for the four dogs. And then I said, Julia, <laughs> Julia, how I wish, how I wish you were like those dogs. When I call, you come running. Not when I call, he said, Ah, oh, Papa. I said, Julia. And then wherever Julia is, Yes, Papa. How oh, I wish you just let the dog will come. When I call. And how I wish when I say, Julia, wash the dishes. And you would say, I will mean, wash the dishes, Papa. No, he just said, Oh, hey, Papa, he's still sitting down. <laughs> Give up, we are all guilty of not honoring our father and mother. You know, not basic. Na. We are all guilty of murder. We are all guilty of murder. Sabi mo, Pastor, masamaya ang binibintang mo sa akin yan. Bakit mo sinasabi, guilty ako ng murder? Wala akong pinatay. Wala akong pinatang ang pinatay. I will invite you to refresh your memories. Di ba may nakaaway ka? Habang hindi naglalakad, one day, pumupo ka, sumakay ka ng jeep, pumupo mo sa iyong pinupuhan, may sumunod sa iyong bupo, ah, uh, pumasok sa jeep, at pagtaan na sa iyong ganyan, natapakan niya yung maliit na napukumok na patay. <laughs> di ba sa isip mo? Takas na yung kanya, di ba? Pero sa isip mo, matay ka sa Pero yung doon kaya, hmm, hindi mo naman kaya sasabihin na matay ka na sa akin, di ba? Hindi mo yun eh. Pero ano yan, sabi ng Panginoon, inisip mo, tinuha mo na yun. Nagkasala ka na sa iyong utak. Ano ba? Oo, oh, yung aking gawin ba? Sa pangyayin natin. Pero guilty of stealing. Guilty of stealing. Ako ako ng boyfriend. Sana ako nalang ang boyfriend. Ako 
We are all guilty. We cannot face the Lord and say, I have no sin. And that is what Jesus is telling the Jews. You cannot come to the Lord and say, You're holy. No. The very person that you trust, Moses. The work of Moses, the very, the very uh, uh, work where you stand on, you because remember, sinabinya, search the scripture, and then you you believe that you have eternal life. So he is now using the scripture to them. You trusted Moses. You trusted the law of Moses. Look. If you believe Moses, if you believe Moses, you will not, uh, you will not lie, you will not think of, of, of killing someone, you will not dishonor your parents, you will not uh, 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 desire somebody's wealth, somebody's wife, somebody's cattle. It's the very law will be against you. Jesus is telling them, if this is your situation, the last, the last kudibra is the forbidding condition of man. He says here, in verse 46 or had given it Moses you would have believed me kung naniwala lang kayo kay Moses maniniwala kayo sa akin pero for he wrote of me niya, but if you believe not his writings verse 47 how shall you believe my words so this is now this is now a, a rhetorical question. Paano kayo maniniwala sa akin? And that is a rhetorical question that accuses the Jews of their sinfulness. And it's a forbidding condition for them, for the Jews, and for the whole mankind. When I say forbidding, it means it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a bad situation for voting. Kumbaga sa ano, it's a parang for, for the lack of better word, bad luck. Ito yung pinakamasamang condition nyo. Jesus is saying, you are in the worst condition. You are arguing against me, you are, you are accusing me of sin of blasphemy but, but parang sinabi niya don't go stop me don't go stop me you don't even believe in the law you did not believe Moses if you believe Moses you would obey him but you just can't so what is the condition your condition is a is, is the worst condition because judgment is upon you that is what Jesus is saying how can you believe my words diba you go back to John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life but how can you believe me you don't even believe Moses. So Jesus is telling them, you are in a worse condition. You are in a worse condition.
<clears throat> what is that worst condition? Let's look back. John 3, verse 17 to 18. What is the condition of someone who doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, 17. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is what? Condemned already. Why? Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Go further. And this is the condemnation that the light has come upon the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Jesus is telling them, you are in a worse condition. Ano yung kasabihan natin mga Pilipino? Turo ko ng turo, tingnan mo. Turo ko ng turo. Yung turo mo, isa lang sa tinuturo mo. Pero yung tatlo, ha? Tat ano pa nga, yung turo ka na ganun, mali na isa, dalawa, dalawa turo, pero yung tatlo. So yung mga turo ko balik eh. Mas, 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 mas makasalaan ang apa. Ang sinasabi ni Jesus dito ay, eh. sinasabi niyo makasalaan ako. Pero sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang ginagawa ko para sa kapuriyan ng aking ama. Pero binamasama niyo yun. At ayaw niyo akong paniwalaan. Mga, pero tingnan niyo ang sitwasyon niyo. This is, Jesus is what, Jesus, this is what Jesus is saying here. You are in the worst condition. You don't even believe the very words of the scripture that you tell, that you stand on. Sinasabi nyo na sinusunod nyo ang salita ni Moses. Pero hindi nyo naman pinapakinggan si Moses. You disobey the words of Moses. See? And what will be happen? Moses will prosecute you in the presence of the Lord and they say, This guy is guilty. This man is guilty. This woman is guilty. We, Jesus is saying here, we need to believe in Jesus Christ. We need to believe in Him. In order for us, not to be prosecuted by Moses. Because when Moses says you're guilty, Jesus would just stand up and say, I will pay for that man's sin. If we believe on him, that is what Jesus will do to us. Yan ang, uh, ang situation. Pero Jesus is talking to, this, uh, to these Jewish leaders and he's giving them judgment. The wrath of God stays upon you because you do not believe that the Son of Man the Son of God sent to free you from sin so his wrath is at you so that is the condition of man that is the utility of man's testimony so may these words that the Lord spoke to us today be a reminder for all of us. Tayo na, sinasabi natin, Kristiyano tayo, may paalala sa pastor. Take heed. He that, 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 he that, who said, he standeth, take heed, Let's see for. Naniniwal 
Totoo ba na mananang palataya ng Panginoon? And then, may this be a reminder for every one of us. Do not uh, Huwag po natin ipagwalang halaga ang, ang, ang sinasabi nito ng Panginoon sa atin ngayon. Paalala ito, a reminder for us, for each and every one of us, para matatili tayo sa pagtitiwala sa Kanya. Kaya niya sinabi ito sa mga ito, pinapakita ang kanila ka uh, yun yung kawalang uh, ano, tawag yan yung kawalang kakayahan Jesus is telling them unless you believe in me you will perish you have to believe in me and I tell you I tell you Jesus is trying to reach these Jewish leaders and not just the Jewish leaders but all of us unless God has given the grace we cannot believe in Him pero salamat tayo sa Panginoon kaya nga paalala ito sa ating lahat paalala ito sa ating lahat for what? make sure mananapalataya ka kaya ako ng Panginoon o nagtitiwala lang ako sa tao. Baka ang pinapanampalataya lang ko lang ay si Pasto. Si May Ganon. Kaya sila na lang kaya sila na simbahan ay dahil may nakitang maganda, may nakitang guwapo sa church. Kaya sila na doon sa church ay dahil may nakikita silang pagkain sa church. Oh, this is, this is going to be interesting pagdating natin sa chapter 6. Well, chapter 6 and chapter 7. So, so, buka natin ang ating mga sarili muna. Because why? Why? Because we are the ones who carry the, the word of the Lord. Baka mamaya, hindi pala tayo tunay na ligtas. Baka ito wala na natin ligtas. Baka hindi pala tayo talaga sa Panginoon. Hindi yung pala, alam mo, alam yun mo na. Para baka panumbali ka sa Panginoon. You can repent of your sins. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. At kung sabi mo na, ah, oh, kusyano naman ako talaga. As sure ako. I, I know. Alam ko na ang Panginoon ay hindi po ako. Tinanggap ko siya uh, uh, ako ay sa kanya talaga. Safe na safe ako. And then good. What is this word for you now? This word now is for you to tell. Ito ang mensahe mo sa iba. Ito pala ang condition natin ng lahat ng tao. Ito ang condition mo. Ito ang naging condition ko dati. Hindi ako wala ng palataya. And we can share with them the gospel. So I hope and I pray gamit po nyo ang uh, pensahe ng magang ito to assess yourself and to strengthen yourself to use it for the glory of God that's how I let it out and Father we thank you for your grace, thank you for these uh, words that you have shared to us today salamat po Panginoon sa katotohan na din na ito na amin at nawa mahamad ang bawat isa ng aking na buhay ng dugo sa Diyosin at siguraduhin ang kanyang pangangami ng mga sali upang nila ay pangamanan ng palatayan at kung
Muradunan aking Panginoon at you have assured us that we are your sons and your daughters that we are your children may the words that you have prepared to us today be an instrument for us a reminder for us to use these words, very words to declare to the world their worst condition and that the answer to this is believing in the Lord Jesus Christ who offered himself as a sacrifice for sin who rose from the dead who gave assurance of eternal life thank you Lord for your mercy we thank you for this wonderful place we give you all the glory in Christ's precious Thank you. 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 Thank you.